the cone right this is uh, this 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 um, is the axis of the cone passing through like this passing through the tip of this cone vertex of this cone right and perpendicular to this base is the axis of the cone now if I cut this cone with a plane that is perpendicular to the axis of the cone plane which is uh, the, the case I'm explaining is not there I'm explaining the circle case so if you cut it by a plane like this kind of plane right which is perpendicular to this axis right is the cross section of the cone will see the circle it's a circular cross section if we cut it by a plane just that the way I have shown is cut it by a plane right which is perpendicular to the axis fine so we'll see a circle now if we cut this cone now let's see how we see the parabola if we cut this cone like like this this is a generator known as the generator of the cone because when it re revolves this line revolves then we uh, say we generate the cone so this line or, or this line or this line or this line are the cone generators of the cone now if we cut this cone we, the way it is shown see this is the plane right this is the plane we, we cut this cone in such a way that it should be unbounded it should uh, the, on one side it crosses the cone on uh, it, it cuts the generator of the cone but other side it doesn't cut the generator it cuts the base of the cone right or and this we draw parallel to the generator we cut see this is the generator this is the plane we plane is parallel to the generator right plane the section of the cone is cut parallel to the generator then the figure we see you can see this figure this is the parabolic figure parabolic shape so i can i can show you here this is the uh, generator uh, of the cone right now parallel to this i cut it like this the plane i cut it like this i, I, I i'll get a uh, i'll see the, as a parabola the plane that is parallel to this generator right so we see a parabola now how we see ellipse now if i if i change my the way i have cut to generate parabola if i change it such that it is not unbounded it is not intersecting this base on other side also it cuts the other generator like this you can see ellipse here the plane i have i'm cutting I'm, I'm cutting this generator line as well as this generator line right basically if i uh, this time my uh, the plane is making an like it is it is it is intersecting this part right and and it is making an angle with the axis of the cone if it is making an angle of axis of the cone that is a um, uh, that is section of a right cone by a plane which is uh, section of a right cone not parallel to a generator and not parallel to the right so this time basically in this in case of parabola we made it parallel to the generator we we the we cut it parallel to the generator this time if i change it a little bit i i turn it like this instead of parabola i turn it like this so now my plane is not parallel to the generator it will intersect generator like this so the figure i'll see is, is an ellipse the way it is shown here right uh, this circle we already discussed the circle case now hyperbola hyperbola is if you uh, cut the cone with a plane that is parallel to the axis of the cone you cut this circular cross section like this you see this plane goes like this parallel to the axis right so if the figure we see is a hi hyperbola and if you combine two cones like this so we see both the sections of the hyperbola right so i can show you here i this is my axis i take a plane and cut it like this you can see parallel to this axis so the figure i see is the hyperbola fine now other thing is uh, the very uh, common the question which is not easily answered at many places is how we get pair of lines what's the relationship between pair of lines and this though it's very easy you can figure it out yourself so how how we can see the pair of lines see pair of lines is if i we have to involve this vertex of the cone to see pair of lines if i uh, you can see I, I, 
draw the if see first of all uh, if i if i my plane my plane passes through this point like this that is it is not intersecting this cone as well as not intersecting this cone passing through this point fine then it is a point the conic section we just get a point on the conic section sometimes the equation of the conic will represent a point and that is this case when plane is passing through this point it's a uh, point now if i change this angle this plane is such a way that it touches passing through this point but it is gray it gra it will graze it a line you can just see with help of help of, of a line then you get a single line right then it's a single line will basically the conic equation of a conic will become a perfect square and it will represent a, a pair of lines which are coincident lines right when when we can say it's like this tangent when when the, these two planes you can see or lines you can see or line pl plane containing lines will become tangent now this time angle between the two lines is same as the angle of the vertex because it is touching right so we get a pair of uh, coincident lines now pair of lines when we'll get the pair of lines when pair of lines when we draw a line passing through this point like this in such a way that angle it is making with the this is the axis of the cone angle it is making with the axis is not is less than the angle half the angle at the vertex like this you can see planes cutting cones like this passing through this vertex of the cone right this this plane goes like this this plane goes like this so don't see the plane because we will get a section if we we'll say so once we have planes we have nothing to do with the planes we have to see the line right so we have to a line passing through this point and line passing through this point so that angle between the lines angle between the two lines is less than angle between uh, uh, the, the angle at the vertex uh, angle at the vertex so they will get pair of lines